Today's modern railroads are an important artery of commerce that link the east to the west. An interesting feature of Wyoming that's a legacy from decisions made 25 years before Wyoming became a state are an important feature of western Wyoming. That legacy is the checkerboard land ownership pattern laying alongside the rails, making the management of those mixed public and private ownership landscapes interesting indeed. The checkerboard pattern came into existence with the Pacific Railroad Act of 1862. That aided in the construction of the railways. The government came up with that land grant program to help subsidize the huge capital investments required to lay track across the unsettled west. The grant was set up so that for every mile of track laid, all the odd numbered sections for 20 miles on either side of the track would be given to the respective railroad company. Idea being that those sections could then be sold to private investors, raising the capital needed for the infrastructure. By 1871, those land grants were no longer used, but not until there were three million acres of Wyoming being deeded in the program. Western Wyoming was less desirable for ranching and cropping and became public lands, thereby ensuring that the checkerboard pattern would remain an interesting feature of Wyoming on any land ownership map now and into the future. From the University of Wyoming Cooperative Extension Service, I'm Eric Peterson.